What's up YouTube, it's Josh here for our first 5 minute guide. I'll be posting these to give you step by step guides of all the basics in Prison Architect. Today we're going to begin with foundations. Let's get started. So the very first thing when you start building your prison will be foundations. To access your foundations, click the foundations button in the bottom left and you get three options here. You have building brick, building concrete, and bulldoze. Uh, brick and concrete, um, that's basically the two different wall materials you get. There's no difference in strength or how prisoners can tunnel, them, tunnel through them. Uh, it's just aesthetics. So. Uh, pick one of these. I usually go with concrete. It looks cleaner. Uh, so basically, to place the foundation, you will basically get it the size you want. Okay, let's make this one 15 by 15. Or 14 by 14, whatever. You'll notice that trees in, it, in its way will get demolished. You can only um, do these outdoors, obviously. Yeah. Um, you can d overlap some other foundations, I'll show you that in a minute. So, speed it up. The workers will begin building it. And to make it, to finish building it, you'll want to put a door. It can be any door. Uh, you have jail door, large jail door, regular door, solitary door, staff door, and remote door. I'll explain the different doors in a different video. So, you'll want to put it on the edge of your foundation, not in the middle. It has to be on the edge, so you have an entrance into your foundation, into your building. See that tree is gone now. This is done, and boom, it's done. Uh, your workers will automatically place in lights, and you'll need to root electricity to that. Again, I'll show you that in a different video. So yeah, that is the basics of how you build a foundation. If you want to add on to an existing building, there are two ways. There are two different ways you could do this. Um, if you want this to be its own separate room, all you have to do is put it up against the building. Don't overlap it, just put it up against the building and it'll uh, build another room there. If, however, you want to expand the room, let's say we want to expand this room right here, uh, you want to overlap it. See? Now this here doesn't require an entrance because they're going to demolish this wall, but this does because there's a wall between it. So you can put a door there. Let's see if we can watch this. This wall will get demolished and it's done. 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 Yeah. See. So as you can see, this um, it expands the room. You'll get some rubble from demolishing the wall, but your workers will come and dump it and see here you have an, your own separate room here. Okay, now there are a lot of issues when building um, these foundations. Let's say you, you already plotted out an area with walls like this, and you're gonna put an entrance here. Yeah, let's go ahead and put an entrance. Work faster. Okay, so you have this area here. And you want to fill it with foundation, and you do this, right? There's a problem with this. See, it says requires entrance because this area right here isn't against the wall, and the wall itself isn't part of the foundation, right? So you would have to put another door here for it to actually recognize it as a door because it has to be actually on the foundation, not outside it, not in the middle, on the edge. So I guess to get around this, I think you can do this, can you do this? Yeah, you can include the walls as your foundation. Make sure to do that, that's really important. Include the walls as your foundation and that did not work. That was bad. Um, if any of these do not work, you can right click to cancel and you'll be left with this. To get, get rid of this, you'll still want to build over it, including the walls. Build over it, meet the conditions you didn't meet and it'll build. 
Uh, to get rid of it, you'll just bulldoze it. Come to bulldoze. You will select the area you want to bulldoze. And let go. Using the bulldoze tool. Bulldoze tool. tool. Uh, bulldoze and we'll get rid of all the walls. Remove all the floors and this will dump all the objects in it. So if you want to save the objects, I recommend you dismantle them first using the dismantle tool. Again, I'll go through all of these in a separate video. So yeah, that is foundations in a nutshell. If you have any questions about building foundations, drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. Don't forget to check out the first episode of my Let's Play series and subscribe to me to get more of my videos. Next episode will show you how to lay floors and other materials. See you next time.